Hello everybody, this is Matt Jedi and today we're going to be attacking the 2022 AMC problem 23. So the problem reads, a triangle or circle is placed in each of the nine squares in a 3x3 grid. Shown below is a sample configuration with three triangles in a line. So here's the line. And how many configurations will have three triangles in a line and three circles in a line? So for simplicity purposes, what's going to happen is I'm going to make everything triangle stand for T and circle stand for C just so we can differentiate the shapes a little better. So, for these problems, I always like to start off with just drawing the stuff, drawing some examples. So, there's over here, some examples that fit this criteria are T, 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 C, 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 and this last one can be anything. So, that's if T is vertical. Now, let's try T is horizontal. So, very similar, T, 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 and for C to have a straight line. C also needs to be horizontal. And this last one can be anything. Finally, let's try T if it's a diagonal line. So if T is a diagonal line, let's try check that out. So it's like that. So I can't actually make a straight line with three circles. And this is because like even if we make everything else circles, it's just not possible because the T's are taking off are the good spaces for, for the rows and columns. So therefore, it's impossible. So therefore, this case of T's in diagonal or C's in a diagonal does not work. So this tells us that the only possibilities are for T to be in a vertical line or to T for, to, and for T to be in a horizontal line. And notice that if T is in a vertical line, C must also be in a vertical line. Since if C is horizontal, then it's, not, it's actually not possible since um, T, the T vertical line already covers all the rows. So C S has to be vertical. And similarly for horizontal, if T is horizontal, C has to be horizontal. So now that we have our cases, let's just do it. So case one is that um, um, T is horizontal. And case two is that um, T is vertical. But before we actually get into that, we can actually figure out that they're exactly the same case. Because if we just rotate this 90 degrees clockwise, we'll literally just get the exact same thing as this. So, therefore, um, to calculate the final answer, we just do case 1 and multiply by 2, since these two cases are equivalent. So, just remember to make a note to multiply by 2. Okay, so now we just have our number of cases we have to do. So, now T has to be horizontal. So, let's see what one of them will look like. So, for T to be horizontal, let's say T, the top one is T. Let's say this, this is C. So, the final row, there's two choices. Number one, it's a regular one, like TTC, like most of them are. Or, there's another case where it's actually, things get more complicated, since, let's say, there can be another TTT. And this would be very complicated, since if we just counted it the same as this above case, there would be over counts. So therefore, these need to be two separate cases. So let's do this first one. This first case is going to be, the bottom row is not all the same. So how many cases for this? Well, first of all, how many choices how many choices of rows are there for the row of t's? Well, there are three. It can either be this one, this one, or this one. So there's three. And let's say t takes the top one. Now, how many remaining rows are left for the c's? Two, right? Because there are two remaining. And finally, let's say c gets that one. How many ways are how many combinations are there possible for the final row? And this part we gotta. We'll draw a separate thing. So for here, how many how many combinations of T's and C are there? Are there such that it's not TTT or CCC? So first let's count the total number without any restrictions. How many options are there for this blank? It can either be T or C. That's two. Okay? And similarly for this one, T or C. That's another two, and this is another two. So you multiply all of them, there's eight total combinations um, for this bottom row. Now, we don't want them to be of TTT or CTC. So, minus 2. So, times A minus 2, just 6. So, that's a total of 36. Now, let's go on to the more complicated case. So, in this case, the bottom row is going to be TTT or CCC. So, right off the bat, there's two cases. It can either be TTT or CCC. Now, what? Well, now we just got to order them, since there's really nothing else to do. So, to order the rows, an easy way to look at it is how many ways are there to choose the row for the CCC? So there's three ways. 
So let's say we chose this row for CCC. That means that the remaining two rows must be TTT. And there's no need to order them differently since they're exact same rows. So they're indistinguishable. So that's why um, you have to take these two as different cases. Since in this case, the TTT and TTC were different. So you have to actually count to ordering. Well, here, TTT and TTT are the same. So you don't. That's why you have to take it as different cases. So this is 6. So if you add this together, that's actually equal to 42. But don't forget, we have to multiply by 2 in the beginning since we got to account for t's vertical. So 42 times 2, that's equal to 84, which is answer choice D. So that is our answer. Thank you for watching. May the force be with you. See you next time.